This is perhaps the most important thing you could make for your mom on Mother's Day. If you only make one thing, please listen to me now. Huge brownie points. Make it this. In fact, you make this this Mother's Day, you'll probably get a pass for the next two or three Mother's Days. Ridiculous bounty, brownie points. You won't have to, you won't have to. And I'm Same. so excited that Lynn has never had this. I don't know how he hasn't it's, had it. I know. Max says it's a staple. It is a staple. Absolutely. So this is not, you know, I'm not the first guy to do anything with this. This has been uh, something that, you know, church recipe cookbooks have and, and whatever. And it's called a, uh, I call it a cinnamon pecan pull apart. I think you call it a cinnamon pecan pull apart thingy. Thingy, maybe that's yeah, thingy. Correct. I was gonna say pull apart yeah. thingy. Pull, okay, pull whatever. Apart. All right, all right, all right. So thingy. the basis of it are these biscuits, these simple little refrigerator biscuits that I could do a cookbook on just this because it's really kind of amazing how much of this stuff that you can find things to do with. We use those for donuts. We use them for donuts. Man, that was a good show, right? Hell that yeah, was a good show. Same that was really good. Com, All right, so check out archive episodes. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. That's okay. Um, sugar and cinnamon, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's my bunt pan. Mm -hmm. You silly bunt. Anybody know that reference? No. no. You're a BU next Tuesday. No, 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 it's not. Is it's, that not the reference? It's um, Monty Python. Oh, okay. You silly, it's a whole long, th whatever, it doesn't matter, but that's the, that was the punchline right there, you silly bunch. Anyway, so you mix this up, you're gonna take these biscuits and now you're gonna quarter them. Mm -hmm. And you know, look at, I like to do this stuff live and it takes a little bit longer, but the reality is you will now watch me do things and you can go, wow, if I just sat and watched him do this. Yeah. Can you move the cinnamon bowl? Yeah, that right, yeah, there you go. How's that, we good? Oh, yeah. I'm okay for you, Lynn? Yeah. We don't have Steve today, and we're trying to figure out camera without an extra person here, and I think we've, I think it works, right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We can do it. We're a, we're a host of talented individuals. I mean, I probably put, what, a tablespoon of sugar in here, and I might have had... Uh, what would that be? Two thirds of a cup of sugar or something? Mm -hmm. Maybe two tablespoons of sugar, of cinnamon. I don't think so though. Maybe we Did could we ever do the cinnamon challenge? No, oh, we, we need haven't to do yet. that one night. But wait, let's not do that yet because I've got an idea for, um, for who eats this shit oh. that I was just working on today and I, I'm, well, I'm not able to perfect it uh, until maybe next time. But this is something that you're doing yourself too, right? You'll see, you'll see what it is. Don't All worry right. about it. So if you haven't watched the show and seeing a Who Eats This Shit segment, it's when we have something that somebody decides is kind of icky to eat, mm -hmm. and we find uh, it, and then it's been Lynn and I that have, that have eaten it most of the time, right? Wait, we had another one, Steve. Um, what was it? We've had a lot. We've had many. Wait, are you talking about one specifically? I or? feel like Steve got involved and he ate something once. Um, no, oh, it was the baby the, food thing that those guys and did. we did the saltine cracker challenge. Right. Where if you were supposed to try and eat six of them in one minute without any water in. <laughs> people, everybody thinks it's super easy, but it's not it's, at trust all. Me, it is not super easy in the least. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> so now we're at the halfway point. Uh, I got about one and a half of these tubes... One and a half tubes left. So here's what you do. Mm. Then you take this. Cinnamon on your hands. Okay, it's 6.06. I've been doing this for six minutes, Wait, right? You just said you take this. What are you taking? Uh, you're going to take this that oh, I have okay. right here, okay. which is melted cinnamon, sorry, mm -hmm. melted sugar and butter. Oh, how good and now you're just going to drizzle this, watch, over the top. Wow. Like this. That's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the recipes on the website, cookingguy.com forward slash recipes, I think. I don't really even know, actually. That's it. Is that what it is? Yep. Forward slash recipes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll have some beautiful pictures up on the samlivecast.com later. And honestly, you know what? The, the, the search function is good on the website because if you just know one ingredient, yeah. all you do is type in brisket and anything with brisket will come up. Or anything with cinnamon in this case will come up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cover that, put it back on a little bit of heat, not a lot. And then we're going to do another little handful of raisins in the middle. Layers. 
and then more of the pecan halves. You could use the um, uh, chopped pecans. I just like the way whole pecans look in this thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's much more, um, I just think it's much more interesting. And then you get a big bite of a pecan in there and everybody's happy. And, all right, so just let me know if I just finish these guys. I'm almost there and I can get this thing, this big dumb thing in the oven. How okay. long does it take? It takes about uh, 40 minutes. So the timing should be perfect. Yeah. Look at ten after. We try and go about an hour on the show. Like you don't have to cut them in quarters. I just like the way that the bites. You'll see how the whole thing happens. It really is just this pull apart thing, and you just take little chunks of it out and you eat it, and uh, it's dreamy. So the idea is is that you get up before your mom, and you make this thing. And then you go marching into her room, or when she comes down for coffee, or whatever. And you're the king of the universe, you're pretty king much. Of the, you're king of the world, Can you man. imagine waking up to this smell? That's crazy. Oh, yeah. When the kids were little, and they would be God. playing out in the cul-de-sac yeah. with their friends, and Sam would make this, there would be like a parade of kids come running through here. Okay, so do you want to know what you call it on your website, the recipe? Yeah. Pull. You call it the... Cinnamon pecan caramely pull apart thing. <laughs> I'm so That's stupid. That's word man. for word. It is? Yep. It's so stupid. You know, it's funny. Sometimes I'll go through and I'll see recipes that I wrote ages ago. Mm -hmm. And not only are they written out of order, <laughs> like the first ingredient, you're supposed to list ingredients in the order that they're used. Yeah. <laughs> Like in a play, they list the people in order of their appearance on the screen or the stage. But my measurements are off, and I have extra steps. The funny thing is I've streamlined um, my recipes. The longer I go, the more shortcuts I find. Yeah. And um, I now find myself not doing many of the steps that I used to. So when I come across an old recipe, I try and go in and fix it and go, oh, no, 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 this is just real. I was gonna say that word I can't say anymore. I'm, I can't even imagine what some of your first recipes are gonna look like on that website. Yeah, they're not. They're not. I mean, We've showed the live cast nation um, your first demo, have we not? Yes, yes. we have, and, and I'm that's horrible pretty in interesting. It. Boring. Hi, my name is Sam the Cooking Guy. <laughs> no, I'm Sam the Boring and I Guy. I am a person. I was barely a person then. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I couldn't do anything. I am a person who's going to be on TV for the next 10 years. Wow, that's so funny, Max. Brenda just writes, I will make this for myself even if my family doesn't. Oh, no. <laughs> Aww, you know what? Brenda. Here's an interesting thing. So check this out. We'll make it for you, Brenda. So, you know, I know a lot of people download this off of iTunes, mm -hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can, if you go, maybe Max, walk through this as yep. I'm as I'm talking it. Uh -huh. If you go to the episodes page on the samlivecast.com mm -hmm. and you find an episode that you want to watch, you click on the big picture of the episode. Yep. Down in the bottom right hand corner is the YouTube uh, link. If you click on that, it will take you where you can watch it on YouTube. Yep, right there. Right. Show, <laughs> the, show the bottom butt. corner. Look at Lucky's butt. Yeah, it says it just says YouTube right there at the bottom right, corner. Right, so you click on that and it will open it up in YouTube. But what's interesting is that you can... Hey, Lynn, you back there? Yeah. yeah. You guys talk people through starting the YouTube from a particular point. Wait, just come back to what me you, for one you, second. Um, yeah, I'm on you. Come back to me for one second. Okay. okay, so now I just have the rest of this sugar butter stuff. Yeah. I'm going to oh. lace over the top of this thing. Sugar butter heavenly goodness yeah and the smell in here is really good oh, stop it. and it's really more about the butter than it is about the sugar i'm so unlucky just being banished in this back room this, this stupid me. wall now we need to just bash it down <laughs> sorry parents i'm gonna bash down walls in your house oh and I for any newcomers have. out there we're in my parents house my parents live here their room is right up there and the you've already you've around. already knocked your fist through a few walls over the years son <laughs> Or one of your brothers. I grew up in this house. Okay, so this is it, right? Yeah. Here's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little lower. A little lower. Mm. It's on the screen. You can see. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> That's what it oh, looks like, man. right? So there's the there's the pecans and the raisins in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then the biscuits with the cinnamon and the sugar. Yep. Then another layer of the raisins and the pecans, and then the rest of the biscuits on top. And then the whole thing is doused with more of that butter, 
uh, cinnamon, sugar stuff. And now this just goes into this oven. Wow. Upside down, too. Yeah, wait till you see the way this thing comes out. And let's... From driveways, walkways, and lawn areas to outdoor kitchens, fire pits, landscape lighting, and more, no other company can enhance the beauty and value of your home with the same commitment to quality as System Pavers. Outdoor living designed around you. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, shit. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. Okay. So here's what this thing looks like when it comes out. Except that's upside down. We got to get, uh, Lynn, you can go tight with that for with your camera, yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's how we do this. Upside down. Upside down. And Don't burn you gotta yourself. Be, that's it's not gotta, super hot right now? It's on the board? Hot. Or no, just... Oh, no, it's fine on there. It. But for this, it's very... Ready? Yep. Oh. And now the problem is getting this off. Yeah, you gotta be really delicate because you could ruin the whole, I mean, you could ruin the whole structure. Of I'm not delicate. You're not. I know you're not. So be That's delicate. my problem. Ready? Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Check that out, Mr. Lin. Look at this beautiful thing. Please let me I mean, know. really? It, it's Take a picture of that one. Unbelievable. Do you want to take a picture while it's whole? Are you going to cut into Oh, you are. I'm going to bust. Get the camera quick. Jeez. Yeah, you can do it. Lynn. As if I'm right, not doing so anything watch. else right now. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to read two emails while Lynn's getting ready with his camera. Take your time. I'm good. I've got two emails here. Hold on. Just allow me to pour myself a drink. <laughs> All right. I just can't wait to eat the thing, so... Don't Can you not long. believe the smell? I know. Don't well. Don't take too long. I mean, well, I should have told Lynn that this was going to happen yeah. like this. He didn't really know what to expect. In all fairness, I he's know, not now had you're, this before. Now you're just making it, extending it even longer. Okay. I'm trying to eat here, old man. All right. So I got two emails here. Here's um, what do you want first, good or bad? Good. You do? Bad. Fine, bad. Kelly, what do you want? Good or bad email first? Oh, bad. Bad, okay. Sam, big fan, big fan. You know something's coming after that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. but. Flip flops with jeans is a really, really bad look for all men, especially for one of your age. Flip flops with, I'll read it again. Flip flops with jeans is a really, really bad look for all men, especially for one of your age. If it's hot enough that you need to cool down by wearing flip flops, then you should also be wearing shorts. The splash of color thing does not fly. Can Ouch. you believe that people take the time to send emails like that? Can I tell you something that's so funny about that? Yeah. So my girlfriend, I sent her that, or on Facebook it had that picture of you and I and Zach at Senior Night for Lacrosse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I get a text from her and she writes, holy shit, most men need to cover up their feet. I haven't been up close to Sam, but he is provoking me. I thought I would text instead of Facebook my views. Ha 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 ha. He means I pissed her off too? Yeah. She so, thought, what are you walking around in flip-flops for, so let check, alone red flip-flops? So check this out. This morning, I get, a, I get a text from Andrea at KFMB who says, hey, do you see any of these shoes that you like? And it came to me and Dave at, at DSC, and maybe you guys could figure out to do something with it. And they were these European-looking, I don't know, like sneakers or something, you know, the kind of low and stripes and... And I wrote back and said, I'd get beat up before I wore those. And she writes back, you get beat up because of your glasses and your flip-flops. And then I hear Dave talking about me on the radio, saying how much he hates flip-flops. We had lunch together Thursday, and I wore jeans and flip-flops. I don't know what the problem is with people. Weird thing is that people have, you're right, people have the time to take out of their data. 
mm -hmm. send you an email letting you know that your, that your flip flops pissed them off. Right. Okay. So here's the other email. The fuck is it? The hell? Let's wrap the show. I want to eat that thing. No, 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 hot, no. Stop Dad. it, You're Max. just taking too long time. Stop it, Max. I, Lynn's not finished. I hate ending the show so anticlimactic. No, it's not anticlimactic. You know, is. come on. You, you know how Lynn is. Hey, he's got to get it happening here. Yes, you're right. Lynn's pictures are much more important than ending the show on a high note. Trust me, I got it covered. So Kelly, we'll don't don't even think about it until Lynn's finished. That's fine. We'll just sit in silence while you sit there and uh, look for the email. I can't see it. Shit. Okay, allow me to do this. Watch yeah, this. You done, Lynn? Yeah. Okay, so watch. Come right here. We can't do this. Hold no, on. We can't. We can't. So then, what you do is you pull it apart. See this? See how it just busts? And then you get like a piece like this. Look at that. And all it is is one single bite. Oh my God. Seriously, it's one of the best things I've ever made. Look how beautiful it is. Make that for your mom, won't you? Wednesday night and Thursday night of this week, two more things you can and should make for your mommy. Mm. Did I say mommy? Yeah, you did. <laughs> if you're looking for a little sweetness to add to a brunch menu, boom. That's like the perfect thing. Uh, just tell the siblings you'll take care of like, the appetizer for brunch mm -hmm. and give them the rest of the work. Mm -hmm. Then your job is out of the way and you can chill and have champagne. All right. Thanks for being here. It's Monday night. Tomorrow's Tuesday. We're not here, but we are here Wednesday. <laughs> Tell your friends about the Sam Livecast and make this for your mom. Ow. See ya. Stop eating. It's so hot.